thought it'd be fun to do a quick video to show you how easy it is to do a split screen. This is kind of an alternative method. So you start by bringing in your video clips, your two video clips. I'm just grabbing these at random. And of course you drag them to the timeline. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and delete the audio track. So I'll select the clips here. And then I'll press U on the keyboard. That ungroups them. And now I can delete the audio clips, the audio tracks. Now I'll delete this audio track. So what I want to have is three video tracks. So I'm going to add a video track and add another video track. So I've got three video tracks and two video clips. So I put the clips on the second and third tracks and then leave the top track blank. Then what I do is go into Media Generator and I get Split Screen under Checkerboard. I drag it to the top track and I make it the same size as the video clips. Then what I'm going to do is on this top track, the video, I'll go into compositing mode and I'm going to select multiply. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the second track and I'm going to make it a child to the top track. So the, the top track is going to be the parent and the second track is going to be the child. And notice how it's indented now as well. Then I'm going to go into the top track and go to Mass Generator and go Add and go OK and voila. There's your split screen. It's actually easier than other methods that I've seen. And you just render it out and there you go. So I hope you found this helpful and if you did I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and have a great day.